thanks to Philip Cummings, he has taught me how to um, be able to find a, an image that I can use and cite it um, with another tool, and it's very, very easy. So I've begun using search.creativecommons.org, which is a search uh, engine, and I'm going to type in the search box what I want. I want an angry face. I'm going to choose, uh, by default it usually comes up to Flickr, so I want to use Flickr. Um, I could also use Google Images if I wanted to or any of these others. And I'm going to use this for something that I'm going to use later on, so I want to be able to adapt it and possibly use it for commercial. So I'm just going to leave those two check marks there, and I'm just going to hit return. So here in Flickr are um, the search entry, you know, search results for angry face, and I really like this kid's little face right here. So I'm going to click on it. Now in Flickr, I can come up here to share, and I can grab the link and use that to cite it. I could also um, do a show, so, uh, sh sort, no, show short URL, which is hard to say. And um, when I do that, it shortens the, the um, URL nicely. But then I always have to remember to put this uh, link with that image. Um, I could use a few different tools, but once again, Philip Cummings showed me another great tool. So it's called Expert Attribution. So I'm going to open this website up. And one thing before I do that, I'm actually going to come down here and I'm going to copy the title of this image so that I could search specifically for this image. So I'm going to go back to Expert Tool. I'm going to paste that in and hit search. And then this takes it a little while. It's still searching. All right, eventually, and don't give up on it, um, Expert will come up with a um, list or the pictures. And sometimes if you're very, very lucky, it will give you exactly the image. And on some other times, it will give you pages to kind of go through if many um, people have named the image the same thing. So uh, this was a pretty unique name, um, so it pulled him up. This is the image that I want, so I'm going to click on Select and Get Image with Attribution. It opens it up in its own website page. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that it's uh, got the attributions with it now. So I'm going to drag this down to the bottom. Uh, uh, click it. I'm dragging it onto my desktop. So what it ends up doing is actually uh, downloading a JPEG called Mangle. And you can see there's the JPEG that I want. Um, and out of respect of the um, person who made it, I copy the name that he actually named the file, and I rename the image itself. So if somebody else tries to download it, they're going to get a name of that same um, image. So now um, I can freely use this picture um, on websites and PowerPoints, and I don't have to worry about um, whether or not I have cited it properly because I know I have.